It is always exciting when a package shows up in the mail, especially when you waited that box for about a month. Thank you Italian Post, as always. Also, I couldn't be happier for what is here inside. It is Fragile from 1968. It is an obviously, and it is in pink. I can't believe, I, I'm so excited. And now it's not fragile anymore. And now that I actually destroyed the box, it is time to open it easily, easily, easily. Oh. Now that I've gently opened it, the box, Let's take a look what is here inside. If I can find it, obviously. But beside all this kind of funny stuff, this is actually a very fragile thing, so I have to clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have to clean. Okay, remember when I said a while ago that I was selling my Hot Wheels collection because I wanted to buy more to be a better collector, well, I should have gloves on actually, but here we are. If you follow me on Instagram or on my two Facebook pages, the links are in the description, you already know what this thing is. If you don't follow me, well, follow me, obviously. And let's take a look at this amazing, expensive, rare, incredible, awesome, okay, stop, piece from 1968. Let's take a look. I would like to talk a lot about this car. Unfortunately, the length of the video is important. This is what I was talking about when I said that I wanted more. This is an incredible 1968 mint or C10 condition Python. In the exact name, it is Creamy Pink, and is one of the hot, well, hard to find or rare um, colors from this casting. Also, you can name this as. Uh, dark rose, but the uh, real name it is creamy pink. This is an amazing piece. It has a USA base. You can see because of the two holes, uh, circle holes right here, and then we have also this transparent uh, windows and windshield. Also, the block motor is a little bigger than the. Um, Hong Kong counterpart. Also the details on the wheels are different. You can see the different kind of uh, mold in which they were actually were created. Also this car has decent uh, interiors details. I'm going to uh, make several videos from several angles this is it you can see the dashboard inside also we have white interiors white interiors are actually sweet especially with this color these are amazing it looks awesome also this car has only the top part of the roof uh, black colored it is a matte black as always, I'm trying to make this video from several angles so that you can see all the shades because these Spectroflame tones were actually strange. The creamy pink, the pink and stuff like that have different tones um, when it comes to color so when you see that under a non-natural uh, light you can see some shades but when you see them uh, under the um, sunlight it actually has multiple amazing shades 
I talk about the history of this casting in another video that you can find on the channel, but in short, uh, this car was designed, uh, well actually was a custom made car that Mattel recreated in his lineup. The original name back in uh, uh, 1967, at the beginning of the production um, lineup was Cheetah, but then it was changed in Python. You can find some very rare card sheets in which uh, on the back of it you can see the name Cheetah instead of Python. If you have one of them, that's an amazing um, piece of history. Also, you have different interiors obviously, you have the Hong Kong base as I told you, and you have variations of uh, with the top. This is an only top colored, but if you're lucky enough, you can find a all top um, colored in black. Um, and so the black color was about here and all this part in the back. Uh, and that are the early production models. Interesting actually, the US model has a bigger window here in the back instead of the Hong Kong one it has a smaller one. Um, also the um, Hong Kong one has a, a smaller block here on the engine and then we have different colors interiors as always. This has been a very special and unique piece uh, to have and to buy. That's why I wanted to make a longer video talking about this car only. So this is it. If you like this video, uh, let me know in the comments down. In the description you are going to find a lot of um, links about where you can find me, where you can uh, take a look at my collection, where you can send questions or comments. And this is it. I hope you like it and well, I will see you in the next video. And now it's time to go.